In October 2021, the Columbus Humane Society was contacted by an employee of the local community college about a very friendly but possibly pregnant cat hanging around the college. Could the Columbus Humane Society help out this pretty lady in a delicate condition? A foster stepped up and the transfer was made. Oh, look how cute you are. She clearly had been in a house before. She made herself right at home. Foster mom Laura got her set up in the spare bedroom away from her other house cats. A pregnant cat, also known as a queen, should have a quiet place for her to eat, sleep, and get ready for the birth. It's sad that such a friendly, sweet cat would be abandoned at the college in her time of greatest need. We know that there are not enough resources for cats that are already born and looking for homes. That's why it's standard practice for most animal shelters to spay pregnant cats, thus terminating the pregnancy. No one wants to spay pregnant cats or euthanize neonatal kittens, but these are both done at shelters all across our country right now due to lack of resources and especially the lack of foster volunteers. It's a terrible position to be in as someone who loves animals and wants to help them. This is how you play when you're very pregnant. Since she was found outside as a stray, we had no idea how far along in her pregnancy she was. But we did know she was pretty big around for being such a small girl. This is your baby box? Go get your baby box. Go in there. Check it out. So I, so I came upstairs to check on her, to find her in a weird position, and here and she pumped and she just had a baby, just one of the babies just came right out. And that's a little debris on there. There's a little squirmy worm in there, They're right on the carpet, not even in the box or anything, just right there on the carpet. So here's the first baby. Looks like we got a dark one. For this sweet mama, she and her kittens are safe and sound. 
She gets to just be a great mom and eat the rich, high-protein kitten food. That makes her milk perfect for her four growing babies. Kittens don't open their eyes or start to walk until they're about three weeks old. When the kittens are between eight to ten weeks, they will no longer be nursing for mom and the whole family will all be available for adoption. The Columbus Humane Society wants to make a difference and reduce the number of strays, but we need your help. If you have room in your home and room in your heart, please consider becoming a cat or dog foster. The Columbus Humane Society is a 501c3 nonprofit. Donations are always welcome and volunteers are always needed. <laughs> 